Welcome friends. Now in this section, we will study the new topic and that is weak end feet or no end feet protection. So what is weak end feet? Weak end is the end of the line or substation that have weak or low power source that cannot drive fault current and develop the sufficient amount of forward voltage that are required to operate the relay. No end feet. No end feet, a radial feeder example for no end feet. If the remote end circuit breaker is open, it can be treated as no end feed and eco signal transmitted back immediately. Selection criteria for weak end feed. A voltage setting is done as if the secondary voltage is less than the present value, the end will be considered as weak. So weak end feed uh, or no end feed is a, basically a phenomena in the substation. Uh, and also uh, we can for example at uh, if this at station a uh, a source is connected uh, which has gen power power generating station is connected which has basically generation in 100 megawatts where at where it's at end b a uh, small generator which is, which is a capacity of 10 kva is connected so station b uh, source is very small so it will, if there's a fault between a and b the relay at station B, the feeding source is only a small generator of 10 GVA is not enough to feed the fault current and if there is enough fault current, in that case the relay at station B will not be able to uh, see the fault and we, and we can call the relay at station B as a weak end station. So at station B there will be less fault voltages and normally in the relay there is a setting which relay has to check that a given station will be considered as a weakened feed if the voltage, fault voltage, voltage at the fault time are less than the preset value. For example, it could be 25 or 30 depending upon the uh, load flow studies or the fault level, voltage levels that we consider. In the standard permissive overage scheme as with the permissive underage scheme, instantaneous clearance cannot be achieved for the end zone faults under weakened feed or breaker open condition. To overcome this disadvantage, two possibilities exist. The weakened feed eco feature in available in some protection relays allows the remote relay to eco the trip signal back to the sending relay even if the appropriate remote relay element has not operated. This cater for condition of remote and having a weak in feed or circuit breaker open condition so that the relevant remote and relay elements does not operate. Fast clearance for this fault now obtained at both end of the lines. So we will uh, discuss this uh, in detail. In when we have a diagram setting of eco on weekend feed eco function can be switched on or off we can also set eco only we can also uh, set in the relay eco and trip uh, we can we can criteria is you know, to send eco back the relay check fault in the worst zone if there is no fault relay will send back the eco signal or it could Eco only as per the setting, it can, it, can, it can trip the local breaker and send the eco back. Another function in the relay is if the circuit breaker at the weak end relay uh, will send eco signal immediately. If the CV is open, in that case the relay at the weak end feet and will send the eco immediately without check doing any checks. Relay will check voltage measure are less than a set to declare uh, and as a weak end. There is option uh, in the uh, in the relays to check the voltage levels if the if, if the if a certain end is weak end or strong and, and it's not very much clear because for example if two generators or three generators are connected so in that case we also perform a check voltage check that to make sure the end is at the moment is a weak end and we can declare as weak end and we can perform the weak end feed communication schemes. 
If the AND is weak, relay cannot detect fault in forward direction. So let's see weak end feed logic in probably overage scheme here. So uh, this is station A and this is station B. Station A is weak end and station B is a strong end. And you can see that uh, if there is a fault here near station B, you can see in this direction. For example, if uh, station B is connected to a network like a complete uh, power system, it will be feeding a fault through A and the relay at A will see the fault in forward direction. Because this is a uh, weak end feed, uh, generator is very small or it might be no end feed. So the very, there will be a very small current feeding the fault from station A and relay cannot feed, see the fault in the forward direction. So this is the example of uh, weak end feed. So if for, uh, in this case, uh, relay at station A will check that there is no fault in the reverse direction. For example, we will consider a fault at station A which is weak end feed. When the fault is in the forward direction, this relay we cannot see the fault because in this case there is no source, powerful source to drive the fault current. So this relay cannot see the fault in power direction. But if there is a fault in the reverse direction, for example here, um, after crossing this breaker or in the reverse direction. In this case, the fault is fitted again by the strong end. The fault current will flow from here to this point, for example. And in this case, the relay can see the fault in the reverse direction. So, uh, the, uh, at the weak end, this relay can see there is a fault in the reverse direction if there is actual fault but it cannot see the fault in forward direction because in the forward direction the weak ends cannot feed the fault level. So how the weak end feed logic is taking place if there is a fault in if there is a, uh, if a permissive signal is eco signal is sent from station B to A. The related station A will check only in the reverse direction if there is a no fault in reverse direction there must be fault in power direction so relay will send echo back immediately and if again in the second case if there is a fault here in the permissive overage scheme the this relay uh, at station b will see the fault in extended zone and it will send a signal and this signal the relay will see the fault now because it is fitted from the strong end and it can see the fault in the direction in this case relay will not send the echo back and also it will not trip the local breaker so in that case this uh, this uh, break, uh, relay at this end which seeing the fault will trip the breaker here so here you can see uh, the additional UV check is also performed if uh, to check that the end is weak end or not weak end. So this is the example of uh, weak end feed and this scheme um, I have used in, in my 20 years only uh, in one or two occasions so this weekend feed is normally not used so 90 percent more than 90 percent schemes are used as permissive overage and underage so this is the example of weekend feed uh, production schemes so now i will move to our next topic thank you very much